Okay, I'm a big on James. Hi. I'm good, man. It's uh, it's first of all, I've been a big fan of your work. I've, I've, it's amazing everything from Peaky Blinders to <laughs> to this. Thanks, man. What is it that you? This is such a great character, and I think you are really. I mean, I've gotten to see only a few episodes of the new season, mm -hmm. but we're on a very new uh, new journey here. Mm -hmm. Talk about for you what the what the experience was like and how your character has kind of progressed throughout this into this season. Um, I think it's been really. It's been you know as a as a as an actor, it's been really fun for me because um, you know. I was always I was always at the front of the train, and even though I got to work with the incredible um, Jennifer Connelly, um, you know everyone else was having so much fun at the back of the train. I was sometimes kind of wondering when I'd get down there. Um, so this season, there's a lot going on at the front, um, and um, I was saying before, so many so many characters that don't usually kind of interact with each other have been doing that this season. Um, so that as a performer has been really nice you know we it, it's a really there's a really strong bond in the cast um especially you know under the conditions that we were, we were shooting the last season um and the fact that you know we couldn't leave the, the province of bc so we were just hanging out so much um uh it just kind of made everything just slightly tighter and i think that it really kind of bonded us even further so from a performer sense, that element of it was fantastic. Um, and as a character, um, I think it's really interesting for Bennett to kind of discover who the other people on the train are. You know, he was always doing so much um, for the experiment and for, you know, in a sense, humanity. But now he's kind of he's understanding more and more the humanity that he's surrounded by um and he you know he he gets to do pretty you know he gets to kind of go out there and do pretty dangerous things and um um and that's been you know that was that was i think a lot of fun for him i think that um i think that a big part of his uh a big part of his mission this season is kind of seeing through everything that melanie had started to to kind of um, to go after, uh, you know, when she kind of left the train. So uh, for him to have that opportunity, it's a, obviously something that he's doing for humanity, but also something that he's doing out of respect for Melanie now that she's not on the train. I think that's a real helpful way for him to process the fact that she's not there. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, he's had, he's had kind of like nice emotional, um, nice... Um, action stuff to do it's been it's been cool it's been been good for him yeah i feel like this is such a unique show it's like you you literally what could have been such a state it's on a train for yeah. so much of it but yeah. the fact that you guys the character growth and and how you guys kind of like you said you kind of are changing sides people are kind of going to other areas that they weren't involved in how has that been especially kind of um working with the new characters and working that that must be great because I, I love the kind of change in uh proceedings there <laughs> um it's it's um it's really fun i think it's really fun as a performer and ultimately you know what we kind of really look for in, in a script is opportunities to kind of discover obviously to tell the story that we're telling but but also to discover um elements and sides to our characters that we don't we didn't know that we're there, um, you know, and sometimes you're so focused on a particular feeling or a particular uh, frustration or something that your character is dealing with. And then something else is written with a different character and it brings out something else, whether it's authority or responsibility or an, a different way of understanding or processing something. Um, so I think that's a real it's a real bonus about that. Yeah, well, dude, you're fantastic in the show. Thank you so much. We got to wrap. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Nice to speak to you. Citizens of Snowpiercer, for the first time since the world ended, a brighter future awaits beyond the train. Well, I hear my train is on the There are places on the earth that are warming. You will have a say in our destination. 
and your choice will determine our future. Hope is a slogan, an empty promise. There's only one way, the way I do things. Get back with Wilford. Wait for that train. And dig a grave with Layton. Wait, there's options? Melanie's sacrificing. Gave us a map. We find new weed and then we go back for the others. Who the hell is that? My name is Asha. I am a survivor. I still don't get how it's possible to survive eight years out there. There's still hope. It's time to go get our train back. Wilford hates surprises. Let's go give him one. <laughs> Battle stations! Eight of you against the great Mr. Wilford. I am calling on you to settle this with honor. We'll finish this where we started. Five, four, three, two. We keep everyone as alive as possible. Minus an arm or two. Another day, another near-death experience, right?